Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I did like a random bingo palette type thing. So this is what my phone picked out for me. The NYX Ultimate Bright, and I thought this was nice. So I haven't done um, the numbers yet. And to collab with this palette, I'm using what's in my project pan with these three. These I pulled out from a different palette. I depotted them. So I thought this was nice to put my depots in for my project pan for a hollows out um project pan that I'll be doing um a video after this video. So this is really nice. So I'm using my old um phone to uh if i can open it <laughs> okay there you go okay so i'm gonna put in i think this has 16 four eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen yeah 16 so picking it three colors Four is this orange color. It's like a reddish orange. I don't think I've used this color. This is a really nice pigmented palette. And it is buildable. I really like this palette, but I just never dig into it enough. So it's really light and good for the crease. And then two is this pink color. Really pigmented. Really do enjoy these colors. I don't know why I don't use them enough. Very pretty. And the third color is nine. This is blue color and it has like some shimmers in it and so this blue color has some shimmers not very like shimmery but it has some kind of shimmers in it and it's really pretty so those are the three colors that I'll be using and then the three colors from my project pan Usually I don't use, you know, bring um, colors into project pans because I'm the worst at like trying to keep up with the project pans on colors. I just like to do the random pick on the app and it just picks two palettes for me. So this will be interesting to keep these three always and then a different palette with different colors always to marry with those colors. So these are very pretty. I already primed my eyes with hard candy eyeshadow primer and let's just get into it. All right, I'm trying to look for a clean brush. I am so like not wanting to always clean brushes. So I don't have like a blending brush that's clean. <laughs> so I'm gonna use this to clean my brush real quick. So I'm like overly busy or I'm just like too lazy to clean. Even though last night I can like, I should um, clean brushes and then I just never do. So what I'm going to use is of course this color for the crease. And it looks like it's going to, mm, I'll probably marry it with the pink. So I'll probably do the pink first. And do it like all over and then I'll mix the other color. Because I, I do like pink in the crease for some reason. I'm just like, oh, I think that's pretty. And this is what I did uh, yesterday. I just put a color in and then on top of that put a different color.
This is a very bright and pigmented pink. These are very pigmented, especially when not really good for swatches, but when you put it, apply it on your eye, it's really good. I'll probably just do this eye real quick and then off camera do the other eye. So I'll just go on top with this color. It's like a brownish orange. And then I'm gonna use probably blue. Blue and purple together. So I'm gonna put purple since it's darker. So using my project pan. This purple. I'm going in the outer portion of the eye. It's very pigment. I um the project pan colors are from like an like an indie brand. It's like those indie brands work really good. And I'm going in with that blue in the NYX. Just going in almost on top of the purple. I should use like a different brush. Real quick. I'm going to use this brush. I'm going in with the blue. There we go. Get some more pigmentation. And then using the same brush, I'm going to put the purple in more. And then this orange. The rest of the eyelid. I think it's pretty and then with this shimmer orange if you have like shimmers like this the glitters what I like to do is where's the line use this brush I know it's dirty <laughs> but I like to use this kind of brush that's like for your eyebrows and just Apply that on the brush. And going in like this, in the very like where you open and close the eye, in that line crease, I like to put shimmer right there. Because if I put it like on my eyelid, it's too messy and then it just gets everywhere. And that's what it's looking like. I might have to clean it up a little. And then in my project pan, I have these two that I have to play around with. So what I've been doing is putting the purple real quick in the outer portion underneath the lashes and then the blue so I get a mixture of both to use okay and then I'm gonna do the other eye so I'm gonna pop right off and see you soon I'm gonna add finish this eye and then add mascara and some eyeliner so see you in a bit and here is the finish look. Put you in closer. So here. 
here is that. I added a little bit of stuff. I added this Marisa that's in my project pan and I've added the Ciate London. I've been gravitating to these only for like the inner portion of the eye and I really do enjoy this eye look. It's very pretty and I'm excited for more looks for my project pan. So thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment to my video. Thank you for watching. Bye now.